I want to move on, ladies and gentlemen, to the next topic. Now, again, this is, to for me, it doesn't hold as much weight as for a lot of people here. Uh, I'm not a persona player. Uh, I, I think the game is great for people that enjoy it. I did, in fact, try it. I bought the collector's edition for the PlayStation 4 for Persona 5, thinking that, hey, everyone's talking about this game. I like JRPGs. Let me get into this. And after my sixth train ride, I'm like, yep, this is just not for me. And it's fun. Uh, it, it, not every game is for every game. Uh, Crispy Bomb. So I want to go to you first because this story was brought to light um, by uh, Ecstasies. Now, he is a Spanish from Spain YouTuber that is, well, he's an Xbox guy. And he's he has, an, a, great, he has a great podcast. Uh, and he's been on my show, I think, twice. I'm trying, I got to get him back on for sure. Now, he put this out there. And again, this is one of those, take it with a grain of salt. We're not confirming anything. This is not locked in stone. But he is a great source. And he has even greater sources. So when he does say something, I kind of like to give it a good look. So anyone that is a Persona player that's enjoying all of the Persona games on Xbox Game Pass, it's a big deal. Uh, it's a big deal for the brand because for a while persona games weren't available on xbox it was one of those things it's one of those games that skipped the platform and obviously well the the publisher wants to make money like everyone else and now it's made a lot of money for them being not only on the console if you want to buy it but being in game pass i'm sure they got a very large bag from microsoft well uh crispy this is what he had to say and he starts with exactly what I just said. Take it with a grain of salt. But Reddit's Final Fantasy XIV Xbox leaker, who he's using as a source, who was right with the Final Fantasy XIV stuff to the T, says this. Microsoft is looking to work with major publishers on cloud gaming exclusivity deals. According to this leaker, Microsoft has made an offer to make Persona 6 a console exclusive with cloud streaming available for purchased versions. This offer has currently been rejected, but Microsoft has other potential exclusive deals in the works. So as, as the rumor is, they have said no to the initial offer on making Persona 6 exclusive to xbox now what's interesting with this is crispy as you and fuzzy and myself know money does a lot of talking and i think that if there is an additional zero being added to this conversation maybe they do some sort of a timed exclusive maybe it's a year maybe it's two years but getting persona 6 exclusive would be massive and what's interesting with that i think that really does stab uh two parts of the body because i think it disproves that everything that xbox is going to be involved with is going to go multi-plat including their own stuff so i think if they're still trying to get exclusives through deals if this is true that that i think that really does debunk a lot of the you know the 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 fervor of everything is going over to a playstation at some point Let's talk about Persona 6, though. Would this be a big deal as an exclusive for Xbox? Uh, it, it would be a big deal, especially in the Asian market, okay? The problem is, is that I don't think this is... I think this is true. What I think is happening is Xbox is kind of you know rippling the water as we like to call it you know kind of dipping their toe in and saying hey does anybody have any interest in this and i believe like if you know if they don't do this what will happen is somebody else might step in and be like we're down for this could it be square i mean we saw those financials could they be like, you know what, like, this might work for us. It's it's one of those things, like, I feel like, 
But Microsoft's like, you know, we have to take this seriously because we're not really truly a global brand yet. Yes, our our Windows is a global brand, but can we make Xbox? Because you know, the revenue has exceeded Windows at times in the past few months. Why not try to dip our toe in and say, can we be a global brand? And it requires games that, you know, us in America or, you know, in the West may not gravitate towards. That's that's an uh, a us problem. I'm not saying everyone, but it, it, there are games that are super successful in other regions that are not successful here and vice versa. So to be a global brand, you need to, you know, kind of court the 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 gaming companies that are over there and say, hey, look, like we want this. Could it happen? Sure. Um, is it going to happen as of now? I mean, it's been rejected. So I'm going to leave it at that and just say, like, I feel like Xbox is finally like, Okay, we're gonna take this seriously, and I think this is a good step to going forward. You know, it is. It is a great step moving forward, and everything you said is spot on. Um, and I agree a thousand percent. Buzzy Belvedere, I want to bring you in the conversation. I have a thought and a theory. Now, I don't know Microsoft's plans, right? I we're we're all podcasters. We're all you know, on many, many shows, we're all hosts, we're all, you know, a uh, part of, of, of big and small panels. So we are in it, so to speak, when it comes to the business of gaming. Now, are we businessmen and women? No, we are not. Do we have degrees? Well, I guess some people do, but I don't. Uh, but I do like to think that I have a pointed and well-rounded opinion when it comes to the business of gaming, because a lot of it seems to be common sense. Now, <laughs> People like Microsoft kind of step on some rakes and get it wrong sometimes, but occasionally they do great and they get it right. Well, where I think that this whole thing is moving and where it looks like they're potentially positioning themselves is the handheld that is rumored to be announced in June. Now, a handheld may be a normal thing these days with ROG Ally and, 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 and the Steam Deck and all of the other ones that are available, which is great. Uh, I have a ROG Ally. I don't put as much use into it as some others, but it's great to have that option, right? It's mm -hmm. there. You play it on the go. When you're on the couch watching something with the misses and you don't want, you know, you're kind of dual watching, you play a little Vampire Survivors, it's great. Where I think something, where, and again, this is just an opinion, folks. It's not documented, you know, lock it in kind of information, but it does make a lot of sense. Microsoft is doing a lot of work for specific games that are not confirmed, but are potentially on the way. Mm -hmm. And one of which is StarCraft. StarCraft is going to come back in a big way. But Persona, Persona 6... I think that even if they don't get it exclusive, if they got an exclusive, it would be killer. Uh, but if, if they can get it into Xbox Game Pass day and date, and at the same time that this game comes out, there is a handheld portable that is available in Korea, in Japan, and in China. What you're going to see, ladies and gentlemen, is a seismic shift into what xbox does outside of the americas and some of the other places that they do well in if they could get into these markets with these two particular games using a newly announced handheld that's going to count as a console sale kind of like what happens with sony and their console sales with their handheld it is going to change the scope and the scale of the market and it starts with games like Persona 6. Again, not a game mm -hmm. for me, Fuzzy, but for a lot of people, especially in regions where console gaming is very not the norm anymore. Ten years yeah. ago, people would stand online for two days to get a new console. That's not the case. Korea, Japan, especially China, 
They're PC players, but they're also mobile players and handheld players for that matter. They mm -hmm. get a handheld in there. This is going to be a very big difference for Microsoft. Let's talk about it. Well, before I get into the handheld, uh, good point that like Crispy made all as well as far as like dipping their toes in it, seeing if there's other uh, fish that might bite at like you know those exclusive deals, and that's something that they they really need to do more of. Yep. Um, but I, I've I've joked about this before. Given the wallet size that they have, even if they don't get the exclusivity, I think there's a case to be made that make it more expensive for your competition to the point where. They have to bring, uh, break out the big bucks to pay for it. So let's say you make a bid for, you know, a half a billion dollars for an IP. They turn it down because they're like, well, we should be able to make a couple billion off of this. So they turn that down. I don't think Sony can come in behind them and say 400 million and get the deal. Because if Microsoft is willing to give you a half a billion, then Sony's now got to give a half billion plus. You know, so I, I think there's some of that that kind of chess move strategy going into effect. Like they've probably heard our, our, you know, shouts long enough as far as like, you guys need to be more competitive. And yeah, they're, they're still competitive in many different ways, but going there and having it where you can make the bidding war harder for your competition and they have the cash to do it um, would probably tie up things and make it so Sony has less of an advantage doing that. Like they just can't sneak in the back door and be like, hey, here's a couple of bucks. Can, can you give us this? And normally, you know, people would you know, bow and say, OK, Sony will we'll do it. But now if they know Microsoft is serious enough with a, a bigger checkbook to do that. Yeah. Sony's going to have to, you know, borrow some money or partner with people like Apollo and stuff like that to come up with cash to do these deals. So I wanted to at least get that out there that I, I think that that's part of some of the stuff they're doing. But you're right. When it comes to a handheld in those regions with a title like Persona 6, that would be a huge combination. I mean, even if they just get like the streaming rights or like the Game Pass rights, I think that would be huge enough to the point where it would help them get into those markets a lot deeper. Like they're only, you know, one or two percent, you know, as far as the market share. So if they could get, you know, upwards of five to 10 percent or something like that, that's a huge windfall for them as far as to go from that very low number to even if it's just an incremental but that incremental when you're when you've only been making, you know, let's say a, a, a million sales for your hardware in, in like a, a two or three year period and you go to like triple that in a year, that that's that gives you more of a, a, a push to be able to say, hey, um, what's her name? Amy Hood. Can, uh, can we go ahead and make a, a deeper dive into exploring a few more other options like we can definitely grow the brand. But this is what helped grow the brand. So we need to do more of this. And that will give them better data and better examples to be able to move forward with that. But uh, a handheld in that region, having something like Persona 6, that would be almost as great as like their next gen console teaming up with like Grand Theft Auto 6 as like a, a marketing rights thing. So th those are the two types of things that if Xbox is going to start doing moving forward. That that's as much as people say, oh, they're they're bowing out of the console business and blah blah blah. That would show completely a, a, a one eighty of 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 that, you know, which we kind of know is a one. It, it's they're not bowing out. It's just a matter of they're looking to make the most cash they can, and sometimes it hurts our feelings or whatever. But if, if they can do deals like that Persona deal or other ones with like a Square or with Capcom and things along those lines. I think that's a good strategy because it brings more eyes onto your software and hardware without people saying, oh, I'll just wait for it to come over to the box I already have in front of my TV kind of thing. So kudos on them for trying that if that rumor is true, which I kind of believe it is. And I think we've heard something like this before as far as like, you know, Sony would want Persona 6 as an exclusive, but I think Xbox might get it kind of thing. And I've, I've heard that like, ever since persona came to xbox so where there's smoke there's usually fire so there, there's probably a lot of truth behind that well i mean they they, they they the one thing you will say about the 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 business that microsoft or the 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 way that they contracted out isn't that what, what was the game that was just announced uh oh, that, the meta metaphor or something the metaphor that's coming into game pass day and day that that's yeah. a freaking really big deal like really a big deal again not not so much for me 
I mean, will I try it? Yeah, I'd probably give it a go. It's in Game Pass, so it's no, it's no, no harm, no foul for you know for downloading and trying it out. And if it's not for me, well, it's not for me. Mm-hmm. But the fact that they have that kind of relationship where a new IP that large that is going to be a system seller, uh, people are going to go out in droves and buy that, and that's coming out to everything, tells me that the Persona Six thing they want it again. This is just speculation. I'm sure that they're already contracted or already in talks to get Persona 6 day and date in Game Pass. It makes perfect sense. To make it exclusive, though, that is pretty ballsy if this report is true. And it goes to show you that the whole we're getting out of the business and we're selling everything is just so dumb. It's it's just such a terrible narrative that if you're running with it, shame on you. Come on. I mean, that's... Make it make sense, as the kids like to say. Mm-hmm. Um, look, we are already rolling. We are re- through two big topics. We have a couple more to get into here. Uh, I do want to get into the Hell Jumpers. Uh, I will back end that because I do want to talk about some of the stuff that happened yesterday over the socials uh, regarding poor Jez uh, Corden, who got, you know, I mean, listen, Jez is a very a uh, prominent member of this community. Uh, he is a prominent member of the journalistic community. Uh, Jez is one of us, right? Yes, he works for Windows Central. Yes, he is a professional journalist. And some of the things he says can move mountains. Uh, is he going to move markets? No. Uh, but can he move um, some ideas? Can he move some fans around with some of the stuff he says? Yeah, potentially. He knows he has that power. Sometimes, you know, he's drunk. <laughs> Sometimes he says things he probably shouldn't say, and I'm sure he's well aware of that. Um, but I think what happened was blown out of out of proportion. Uh, he responded to it. I have all of that information. We're going to get into that right now. But before we get there, I do want to thank Silly Mikey, who drops a prominent. I, and now again, it's 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 a thirteen ninety nine CA super chat, which equates to probably around fourteen dollars US, brother. That is very kind of you, very generous, uh, Silly Mikey. He says so. MS are treating their cloud the way they should also be treating their console co- cloud exclusives? Question mark. And I think that cloud gaming is going to be much bigger. Um, I don't know. When they say exclusive to cloud gaming, what I think they meant, and again, this is just speculation. I could be a thousand percent wrong here, gentlemen. I think it's cloud exclusive to cloud Xbox cloud gaming rather than it being available in cloud on other things. That's That's my speculation. I'm probably wrong, but... Again, any kind of exclusivity for something as big as Persona would just freaking be massive. Um, Persona I think you're is, onto something. Yeah, because yeah, talk about yeah, please expa- expand on that. I, I think you're right on that uh, because we have to look at Netflix. Netflix has been doing a lot of exclusives. Like one game that just yep. came out last week was a Netflix exclusive for a bit, and the same thing with Apple Arcade. I think those are their two biggest targets as far as when it comes to console streaming or, or cloud streaming type stuff. If if you look at Apple Arcade and Netflix, they only deal in exclusives. So you have you ever wonder why a game hasn't come to Game Pass that would normally be there, and then you see it come later? It, it's probably because of Apple Arcade or Netflix. 